Hey everyone, Mr. Xmas here. This video will show you how to complete the high special operation within 18 minutes. It's doable with pretty much any class combination, but the easiest method is by using two riflemen. It makes the balcony stages and the helicopter boss significantly easier. Riflemen generally also have the highest amount of armor, so it's also really difficult to get taken out. In terms of armor, my teammate Wotan uses full snowstorm armor, and I am using Atlas boots together with three rock solid armor pieces. Alternatively, you can use any boots with plus 15% sprint speed, so one of you can activate things faster. On every balcony, there are 10 enemies spawning per floor, excluding turrets. You can see that the stage is finished if you are able to climb up, or if the doors are closing. As you go to the main defense floors, one of you needs to always stay close to the cutter, as every wave requires the cutter to be active for 50 seconds, where you have to repair within 0 and 3 times. As soon as these 50 seconds are over, the enemies will stop spawning, and make sure you take out the final enemies as soon as you can to save as much time as possible. On the first vault, the waves are always the same. The first wave has just enemies coming from the front, the second wave also has enemies on the balconies, and the third wave has them spawn on the right side instead of on the front. Then you get to the first boss, the helicopter. On the first stage, just make sure you take it out as fast as possible. You can already start dealing damage to it by standing on the left side of the balcony. Now just keep shooting the helicopter. Even. They, don't, they don't even care about the enemies, just shoot the helicopter. Okay, shoot the enemies down. Nice. As for getting into the vault, let the player with the fastest armor go first so he can get to the balcony first and potentially save a few seconds, although it's not fully necessary. At worst, you probably won't even save anything at all. Every time you go up the rappel, you have more floors to take care of. On the first time, you'll have two floors, the second time will have three floors, and the final rappel will have four floors. On the second vault, the waves are randomly arranged. One wave will mainly have enemies from the front, one will have them mainly come from the right side, and one has them come from the back. And all of these waves have enemies on the balconies on the left side as well. The boss on the second vault is also randomized. You either get the heavy gunner, or the helicopter again. The helicopter will take a bit longer to destroy, so you will lose a little bit of time. However, if you just focus on the helicopter just like with the first vault, it doesn't matter that much. As for turrets, the amount increases per area. You can have two turrets on the first vault, one turret on the second balcony part, per wave, three turrets on the second vault, two turrets on the third balcony stage at every floor, and four turrets on the final vault. However, you will always have ten waves where the turrets will spawn, if you count every balcony floor as a separate wave. Therefore, having more turrets once at the beginning makes the run easier, as you will have less turrets to deal with in general. On the first vault, the same thing applies. You have a randomly arranged set of waves, but there's always four of them. In every run, they will once come from the front, once from the right, once from the left, and once from the skylight in the middle of the room. They will also always spawn enemies on both balconies. Then, after you enter the third vault, you obviously get to the roof and the boss stage. After taking out the initial enemies, two SWAT Heavy Gunners will spawn. The main goal here is to make sure that you can take both of them down before they finish their first reload. You can easily accomplish this by having it focus on one of you, and letting the other shoot its weak spot at the back. Then, when he reloads, the second player can come over and finish it off. As soon as this is done, you can repeat the same process for the other Heavy Gunner and finish the mission by eliminating the remaining enemies on the map. Finish him off, finish him off. Nice! Although we had made some small mistakes during our run, and despite having the helicopter spawn, we did get a time of 17 minutes and 47 seconds, which unfortunately isn't the world record run, but still incredibly fast. Also, we got the maximum crowns for kill score, which is almost impossible not to get on this spec up. But do you have any other remarks or tips that you would like to share? Or did you try going for a fast time in this spec up yourself? And how did it go? Let me know in the comments or on my Discord server. Also, if you've liked this video, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. I hope you've learned something from this video, and as always, have a great day.